Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. Uh, today we're going to briefly cover uh, nitric oxide supplements or NO supplements and various uh, names that they're called. It, it's a, not an easy topic to cover in a brief video because there are so many of them, uh, there's so many variations of them. But the basic, you know, NO2 nitric oxide type supplements started with a, a simple singular ingredient. Uh, I believe it was arginine pyroglutamate and some time release and that kind of got the whole uh, product category going and then what happened was a company started to make pre-workout formulas and adding ingredients on top of ingredients to the point where now if you look at these NO pre-workout uh, type supplements formulas there are just dozens of ingredients to the point where you cannot make heads or tails of these things and this is my business and I am a scientist and I know a thing or two uh, about these ingredients and I gotta tell you uh, there are so many things going on in these formulas with ingredients that are unproven at best uh, unsafe at worst but I'm not even going to get into that just to let you know that how the category has progressed from a simple product that claimed to increase nitric oxide increase blood flow and so on and so on and that's a whole other uh, topic unfortunately but let's just continue on and then the product category recently has gotten of course to these mega formulas pre-workout NO formulas that have dozens of ingredients and so on and so on so to that point let, let's just talk about a recent study that just came out where they examined three of the most popular NO pre-workout formulas uh, against a product called uh, glycocarn which is uh, a type of carnitine and placebo and this is a fairly well set up study uh, and just to summarize the study found that the three pre-workout NO supplements had zero increases in blood flow zero improvements in pump and again the pump has nothing to do with muscle growth but again another topic zero effects on strength etc uh, etc et basically they didn't do a damn thing uh, glycocarn was slightly more effective uh, just to be just to be uh, honest uh, in this conversation and what I'll do is I will link um, this actual study uh, on the brink zone so that you uh, if you are of the science mind and you want to read it you can take a look and this is exactly what I expect as studies finally start to come out uh, I never had any particular faith in this category of supplements uh, for a variety of reasons again some of which are fairly complicated but uh, if you are of science mind I think you'll get beyond just the uh, supplements that were tested there is some good discussion in there on the very value of these supplements whether they are a value or not uh, the value of blood flow etc etc so there's some good writing reading in there but to summarize um, this study showed pretty much what I expected as some other uh, their stu older studies had showed when they looked at the original product that didn't find a whole lot of interesting effects either and uh, I hope this information helped you in your decision buying and if you liked it please Hit the like button, Twitter button, etc. And I hope to see you all on the Brink Zone. Now, for more information on this topic, head on over to www.brinkzone.com where you'll find my blog, more videos, free reports on fat loss, muscle building supplementation, fitness, health, and longevity, as well as a ton of articles in my free weekly fitness newsletter. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.